in act one of six characters in search of an author, as the play begins, the stage has no scenery and the auditorium is almost completely dark. There's a prompter's box and a seat for the director. Tables and chairs are prepared for rehearsal at the front of the stage. The foreman begins working, but the stage manager tells him rehearsal is starting. The actors and director enter and rehearse a scene from Pirandello's play, The Game of Role Playing. The director isn't fond of Pirandello plays and thinks the writer makes them difficult on purpose. The six characters, the father, the stepdaughter, the son, the mother, the boy, and the little girl enter during rehearsal. Most are dressed in black and all are wearing masks. The mother and stepdaughter wear mourning clothes. The father interrupts the director and explains that the six characters need an author. The characters claim the drama itself is already within them. They have it. The director thinks they're crazy. The passionate father and lively stepdaughter try to convince the director they have a stage-worthy drama. The father sent the mother to marry another man, his former secretary, because she could not love him. The father had previously sent their own son away to a wet nurse when he was still a young boy to be breastfed by another woman. With her new husband, the mother had three additional children, the stepdaughter, the boy, and the little girl. The father took an interest in the mother's new family, watching the stepdaughter as she walked home from school. The stepdaughter implies that the father's interest in her was sexual and suggests he paid for sexual contact with her while she worked in a brothel to support the family. When the mother's new husband died, the impoverished family returned to the father and son, but the son wouldn't accept them. The son, standing apart, refuses to participate in the drama. The director finds the story intriguing and decides to try making it into a play. The actors are skeptical. Act one ends with a shift in the action. The character's play is about to become a performance, not just a story. How will their narrative change? The bewildered actors realize they'll have to create something unscripted and novel. They can't just read their lines. They reference the Italian improvisational theater where actors wore masks and played recognizable character types. Outside the confines of a known story, they don't know what will happen.